Hey guys, let us discuss more about basic Docker commands. For the sake of this tutorial, I will be using this image in Docker Hub called Chentex slash random logger, which is nothing but a random log generator. Here is the command needed to pull this image and we can just say docker run the image name to run it. The first thing that we will try to see here is how to stop a running container. So if you're following along, we could just pull the Chentex random logger image into our machine and I already have it, so it won't be pulling it, but just showing me that I have the latest image already. Next, I say docker run Chentex random logger. And any moment now, I should be able to see some random logs generating on my screen and here they are. If I go to an other terminal and I say docker ps, I will see that a container is running and the image that the container is using is Chentex random logger. If I want to stop this running container, what I have to do is say docker stop and then I have to pick the ID of this container and give it here. And stopping a container uh, does take a certain amount of time because Docker tries to send the sick term signal, more on that later, to this container to try to stop it gracefully. If, for example, we do not want to wait that long, what we can simply do is we can ask Docker to kill this container for us, in which it would just simply terminate this container without the sick term signal. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, docker kill. And this would be much faster than stopping it. So you might have noticed that as soon as we say docker run container name, it takes over our standard output and starts to give, give out its logs on the standard output, which is meaning that it is running in an attached way. So suppose we do not want that, what we will do is that we will give the same command, but this time we will give it the minus D flag that it has to run in a detached way. Minus D stands for detached. And if I run this, it just gives me a container ID. And if I say docker ps, then I can see that indeed my container is running. It was created eight seconds ago and it has been up for five seconds but it is running in a detached manner, which means that it is not using the standard output of my machine. Now, suppose I again want to attach this container back, which means that I wanted to use the standard output or the standard input or standard error streams of the host machine. I could just go and simply say docker attach and I can give in the container ID right here and it should be able to stream the logs of the container. And yes, the container is attached back to the standard output. For now, I'll simply stop this container and I'd like to show you what tags are. Here we can see a section of tags and you might have noticed that when we pull the Docker image, it says that it is pulling the latest image, but we can also supply it tags so that we can get other versions of the same image downloaded. Here we can see the docker pull command for pulling the latest image and here we can see how to pull version 1.0.0. So that is how tags work. I don't think so. I really need to run it and show you. So we'll move on to the next thing, which what we'll try to do here next is that we'll try to restart a already finished or a stopped container. If I say docker ps, I see that no containers are running. But if I say docker ps minus a, I see all the containers which have exited as of now. So I pick up the container ID and if I say docker restart, I made a spelling error it seems. Okay, uh, let's see whether it started in the background. Um, yes, it did start in the background. Let us one more time practice what we just learned. I'd say docker attach and I'd give it the container ID. And any moment now, we should see the container logs and here they are. Well, well and good. Let me just stop this container for now with a control C.
Now we have all of these containers lying around since uh, such a long time and some of the, them might really not be that useful for us. Let us see how to remove the unused containers from our system. Uh, for that again I will say docker ps sorry docker ps minus a to see all the containers I will get the id of a container I want to remove and I can simply say docker rm and I can supply in the container id if I say docker ps minus a again I can see that instead of these two hello world containers I have only one hello world container and this container which we just removed is gone. Uh, at the same time, um, if I check what images I have, I might not be using these images at all times and I, I can even remove some of these images to save myself some disk space. So let me say to remove this image, I'd say docker rmi and then I will give the name of the image, which in this case is nginx demos slash hello and it seems to be gone docker images and yes that image does not exist anymore on my system for the last thing in this video let me show you how to see the logs of a container so i again pick a container id and i simply say docker logs container id and indeed i can see that these were the logs generated within this container so oftentimes our containers will start and they will error out and there will be some bugs going on around so at that time checking the logs of the container can help us a lot in debugging and making the process easier and that will be it for this video guys and at the end of it we have understood some of the most basic commands in docker if you find the content of this video helpful do hit the like button and if you find the content of my channel helpful do hit subscribe like always, thanks a lot for watching.